And a warm welcome from one of the newer venues here in the football mad capital of England. We're at the London Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's West Ham United facing Manchester City. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Good luck. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Well, they're playing with a midfield diamond, so key to their success will be the holding midfielder and the player in the number 10 position. They really need to influence the game here today. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson between the posts. Joao Cancelo starts with Alexander Zinchenko in the fullback positions. Rodri plays alongside Ilkay Gundogan in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. We're ready for what we hope will be a tremendous match, and it's West Ham United with a kickoff. Aaron Cresswell. Here is Zuma. Noble. Effective looking pass. Difficult to stop him. But they took care of the situation defensively. Well, you can't watch Kevin De Bruyne and not be impressed, I think it's fair to say, Stuart. What in particular do you expect to see from him in this game? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out of situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. There to win it back. Showing considerable guile. He could pick out a teammate. Must score! Marvellous anticipation! Now sending it in. Well, they haven't overcome all the difficulties. Decent position. Pulls it back. Can he put them ahead? Defending by example. Well, I think the threat has been averted. Well read to put an end to that attack. Promising sequence. And Bernardo Silva has it. Doing well to keep possession. Rodri. He cuts it back. Rodri. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say the good value for the lead. Well, here it is again, and the defending simply isn't good enough. 
They have to react quicker, deal with the danger and show more urgency. None of which they did and that's the result. And the Hammers get the ball moving again. Will there be a quick reply from them? There needs to be. Kurt Zuma. Here's Manuel Lanzini. Declan Rice. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Lanzini. And here's Fornals. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Trying to deliver it accurately. Nodding it over. Well, he was more determined than his marker, but he just couldn't get it on target, could he? Fernandinho Gundogan Phil Foden now Promising attack this And a goal to increase their advantage To two overall That little bit of a cushion Now it's all about keeping the concentration Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. Said Ben Rama. Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build up. Can he put it away? Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Ben Rama. Declan Rice. Here's Manuel Lanzini. Read it well. Kevin De Bruyne. On possibilities inside the box. Untidy on the ball. Jared Bowen. Ball with Pablo Fornals. De Bruyne now. Bernardo Silva. Foden. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, such is the lot of an attacking player. Some days it works for you, on other days, not at all, Stuart. Well, I've been disappointed with his game so far. As those touches show us, he just hasn't been getting into the right sort of areas. That's got to improve if they're to get back into this one. And off and running again, it really was spellbinding what we saw from City in the first half. So let's see how the second 45 plays out. Kurt Zuma. Declan Rice. 
and it's Mark Noble. Pablo Fornals. Now he must favour the cross. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Silva. Phil Foden now. De Bruyne. Sterling. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Rodri. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, his skill level is so high, you're absolutely right. That's a great effort on the volley. And they're making a change. Poor touch, and they no longer have custody of the ball. Alexandra Zinchenko. Phil Foden now. Gundogan. It's a promising City move. Foden. Well, disappointing end to the move. Suchek. Rice with it. And into the last 30 minutes now. Throw ins given. A change in the offing for City. De Bruyne. Silva. Sterling has it. Crossing possibilities. Really good challenge. Kurt Zuma. Ben Rama. Beautiful pass. That is how to put in a challenge. He's been a bit unlucky to concede the corner. Well, these fans can sense an opportunity here. They need to make the most of this corner. They will now make use of the substitute's bench. Let's see about the delivery. Is he able to dispatch it? Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Losing possession a bit easily. Declan Rice. Suchek. Antonio. Has someone to play it to. And it goes to reduce the deficit. Still very much alive and kicking. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. Well, almost at full time, and this is not really what the home fans had in mind. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts as always. Well, it's been a tight match, but they haven't done quite enough going forward in my view. It's all been a bit too predictable. A lot of passing, but not enough penetration. They have to get crosses into the box in these final few minutes if they want to get anything out of this. Well, with the support of these fans, West Ham are throwing everything at this now, but can they get back into it? Losing possession. 
Gundogan lost possession 10 minutes to go then Declan Rice moving it forward and let's give credit to the defending Fernandinho that's very effective good high pressing pass after pass happy to just keep possession and frustrate their opponents going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss Lanzini and it's with Tomas Suchek Antonio well they're attacking but time is the great enemy but they dealt with the threat posed a really sumptuous ball Sterling under pressure oh a stellar piece of defending Vlasic Rice they'll be breathing a sigh of relief ball one and there goes the final whistle an altogether frustrating experience for West Ham and their supporters well Derek it was a poor result but it was a really tight contest both sides had their chances could have gone either way but in the end they will be disappointed Kevin De Bruyne, incisive and influential. How would you sum up what you saw from the Belgian? Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well, he scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.